Hi everyone, it's Missy. So, we have upgraded our camper. We had a Wildwood pull-behind trailer. It had a bed in it, a dinette, and a small kitchen area with a small sink and stove. And we didn't even have a couch. We didn't have much of anything. The storage is very limited. And we got a good deal, we thought, and we actually upgraded to a Heartland Prowler fifth wheel trailer. This has provided us with a lot of necessary um, beds. Um, we have four people and a dog, if you've ever seen our, my, some of my other videos. We have a golden retriever. And with four individuals, we needed more space for people to sleep. So we went with the bunk bed unit. And these are the only things that we've really organized in our camper. Um, you'll see that we've thrown stuff inside cupboards and cabinets already because we took everything out of our old camper and basically threw it in our new one. As you can see with our shelving unit, this is supposed to be the pantry that's by our front door. Uh, we need to get these life jackets in the basement storage compartments. We got blankets and clips for tablecloths and it's all, it's all a mess. And if any of you are looking for YouTube videos for, to organize your new RVs, you have come to the right place. Because that's what we are trying to accomplish in this video, is to basically analyze what our campers have and to maximize their storage as much as possible. So the first thing that I do is I actually go through the camper and the dealers are pretty good at throwing these little accessories into our camper unit. Uh, we have an extra toilet paper roll, we got a soap dish, we got toothbrush holder. These items we are not going to be using, um, especially while well, the toilet paper roll holder, this one doesn't even fit the holder um, bracket that's in the bathroom. So I just take all this stuff out of the camper. Anything that you find that you know you're not going to be using, just take it out of your camper. You can store it in your house in a separate bin, so if you ever do decide to trade in your camper or sell it, um, you can still give those items to the people who really want to use it. The next thing that I do is I analyze what kind of storage capacity my RV has. As you can see, we have a nice deep closet. This is the only closet for clothing in this camper. We also have a unit down here we've actually thrown our shoes in. I'm actually thinking about putting my dirty laundry down there instead of shoes, but with a deep closet like this, you could put in big totes, you can, we have only one bar to hang clothing though. So I'm probably going to take a tension, curtain tension rod and make another, there's considerable space, I could probably make another um, uh, hanging unit in here as well. Another thing is to look at these up, these cabinets above the bed and sofa. As you can see, they're nice and long, but when you're going down the road, the items and contents shift back and forth and then you end up with a mess by the time you get to your destination. So I actually am going to invest in some tubs. I measured this unit and I can actually fit those shoebox size tubs in here and I can fit nine of them all the way straight down. So I'll be doing that. And that's another thing, make sure you have a tape measure and are measuring your cupboards and cabinets so when you're going to go shopping for those tubs and tension bars, you know what size to get. And then we have lots of openings like this throughout our entire unit, and they're great for storage space, but if you're into remodeling, you can put a door on this. Um, we're actually going to try to find a nice long tension rod to put across. So if we put blankets or pillows or something up there, they're not falling out when we're going down the road. It's also important to notice what storage spaces are hidden if you have a slide out. Um, as you can see, our slide out is in. This is our TV entertainment area. And if we had to stop, such as at a Walmart parking lot or a place where we couldn't put our slide out in the extended position, we wanted to make sure that we're not putting stuff in these cabinets that we have to use on a regular basis. So like I have a large cabinet down there. We have some shelving probably for some, we've thrown some games and stuff in there, but um, for like a VCR or a DVD player. We also have some nice cabinets that are blocked on the other side of our slide out. We have two cabinets and then a shelving unit on the bottom. We were actually planning on using these cabinets to put some clothes in for the people who use the bunk bed, but being that these are not accessible with the slide out um, retracted, we are gonna put all the clothing up in the bedroom. I like to put a Kleenex box on the shelf, but as you can see, the shelf is very narrow. 
So I'm going to be using Velcro. I found this on another YouTube video. They, you can actually Velcro down um, a basket that we can put our Kleenex in and another basket that we can keep our toothbrushes and hand soap in that we're using for the sink. Another important thing to measure is your shower. And this might sound a little odd, but we actually like to put tension bars all the way across and that's to actually um, hang our wet towels and so forth so when we're going down the road they can dry into the tub. The third step is kind of similar to the second step when you're going through your storage units. Make sure that you know where you're going to store your largest, most bulky items. You want to make sure that you have enough storage for items such as the slow cooker or grill. Besides cooking appliances, you're also going to want to know what kind of sporting equipment you're going to bring with, such as bicycles. You can purchase a hitch that will be put onto the back of your camper to hold those or a bracket on top of your car. Um, other sports equipment includes life jackets if you're going to do any boating, fishing supplies, and we also like to go golfing. Um, when we go camping, we go to the local golf courses, so those golf clubs will fit nicely underneath the bed. Any extra bedding and so forth that you want to add to your um, camper in case you have guests, those items would be great to store underneath the sofa where there's larger sofa storage areas and also I have the decorative items underlined I usually like to put the decorative items in another kind of at the end I like to pack those because if they do take up too much storage for items that I need with on my trip I rather just leave those at home it's just not a necessity for us when we're camping but it's nice to bring those items with to make our camper feel like a home but make sure that you have these items already planned for their storage before you go out and buy the top totes and tubs and um, all those items so that way for the little stuff and make sure to not pack your appliances in their boxes um, that just takes up wasted space when you take your appliance out to use it then you have a box that's being kicked around on the floor so I'm going to be taking this out of its box and putting it in its cupboard another item you don't want to pack are suitcases because you have a home away from home in your camper with closets, drawers, cupboard space. Put your clothes directly in those items because the suitcases are big bulky items that um, decrease your storage capacity. Chair covers are another big one because they just fly all over and so forth when they're out in the yard. You want to make sure that those are used, stay at home. We put the chairs in those covers when we are done with our camping season for long-term storage. And any food item and extra packaging, make sure that you take those out of their food packages and put them in your camper. And um, I like to prepare meals ahead of time so that way I am not going to be bringing with all the ingredients and so forth that also take up room. And do not pack with paper products and so forth. I think you... Um know that it's easier to pack and store those items when they're out of their packaging. So paper towels, paper plates, cups, even the toilet paper in the bathroom should be stored um, in individual rolls. As you can see, I have in the bathroom some toilet paper that's sitting in its package. And this you want to have. Um, I can actually make more use of my storage space by putting those toilet paper rolls up on top of this narrow shelf than using these wide shelves to put that in. I will put up a list of some of the most common storage items I have seen um, other people use and maybe you can get some tips from that. And I'll be also giving a tour of the camper of what we decided to do with our storage areas um, after in the second part of my RV organization so that way you can see what we all did. Um, some of the decorative items we put up and so forth like throw pillows to make this RV more of a home when we're on our camping trip. But the main thing of course is to get your RV organized the way that you want to. So you don't have to take all these tips into consideration but I sure hope you find that these videos are helpful. And I'll also be having a separate video for refrigerator and food storage because those involve a lot more um, storage techniques than I could fit in this tutorial. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.